Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about draggable and drag target. In the next video, I will create a project based on draggable and drag target. Now here what I have done, I have created a project named as draggable drag target flutter getx deep dive by using the get CLI tool. After that, in the views folder, we have home underscore view file. Here, I will write the code to use the draggable and the drag target. Okay. Now, here you can see I have written what is draggable. Draggable widget allows us to drag a widget across the screen. And what is drag target? Drag target provides destination for the draggable. Now here the class home view is extending the gate view which is taking the home controller type. Now in the build method you can see there is a scaffold widget and in the app bar in the title I have specified draggable and drag targets which you can see in the output. Now in the body I have taken a center widget and as a child of the center widget I have taken a column widget right. Now in the children of the column widget I will use draggable. So here I will use draggable. This draggable widget has many properties which I will discuss one by one. The first one is child, sorry. The first one is child. In the child, I will use a container widget. In the container widget, I will specify the width as 100. Height, I will specify as 100. And in the color, I will specify colors dot deep purple. Now, what is the purpose of this child widget? Now, whatever widget we are using, in the child property that will be displayed when the draggable is stationary okay after that there is another property which is called as feedback in the feedback again i will simply copy this container let me paste it here and i will change the color from deep purple to red now when this feedback will be displayed it is displayed when the widget is dragged this means whatever widget we are using in the feedback property that will be displayed when the widget is dragged okay after that there is one more property which is called as child when dragging again i will simply copy this i will paste it here let me change the color from red to green now as the name is suggesting it is displayed when the child it is displayed as a child when the draggable is dragged now let me run this let me show you the output then you will be able to understand here let me put a comma 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 okay now here you can see when the draggable is stationary at that time this container is displayed having the color as deep purple okay now when i am dragging this then you can see this feedback is working and this container is displayed having the color as a red okay and when i am dragging it at that time you can see this child when dragging is working having the color as green as you can see initially it is purple when i am dragging it the color is red and this property that is child when dragging this is changing the color to green okay after that the next property which i will discuss is axis now here if you can see i can drag this vertically i can drag this horizontally but if you want to restrict the axis at that time we have this axis property okay in this axis property i can specify axis dot vertical or i can specify axis dot horizontal now once you set the axis as vertical this means now it can be dragged vertically only and if you are setting axis dot horizontal this means it can be dragged horizontally only okay after that next property which i will discuss is on drag started let me write here on drag started okay now here this on drag started it is called when the drag is started okay now this will be called when the drag is started okay next we have on drag completed on drag completed okay now this on drag completed is called when the draggable is dragged to drag target and it is accepted by the drag target. Drag target I will discuss later on. Let me repeat once more this on drag completed will be called when the draggable is dragged to drag target and it is accepted by the drag target. Okay. 
next we have next we have on drag end okay now here it takes draggable details sorry draggable details now now when this on drag end will be called this is called when the draggable is dropped on the dra drag target the velocity and the offset at which the pointer was moving when it was dropped it is found in this draggable details okay let me repeat once more it is called when the draggable is dropped on drag target the velocity and the offset at which the pointer was moving when it was dropped it is found in the draggable details okay now there is another property which is called as on drag cancelled let me write here on drag cancelled right now it takes velocity and offset now when this will be called it is called when the draggable is dropped without accepted by drag target okay after that we have on drag update okay drag takes a parameter drag update details now when it is called it is called when the draggable is being dragged next we have max simultaneous drags now before writing this property let me show you one thing here if you can see in the output i am dragging it i can drag it once again okay now how many times a draggable can be dragged at a time this can be controlled by using max simultaneous drags let me write here max simultaneous drags let me specify its value as 1 let me save this now if i try to drag this now see it is draggable only one at a time okay that is the functionality of this max simultaneous drag okay now next we have another property which is called as data this will be actually used by the drag target now let me specify the value as demo here this data property i will discuss more when i will create a project based on draggable and drag target okay now here i will use a sized box here i will use a sized box and in the sized box i will specify the height as 20 now till now i have discussed about draggable now i will discuss drag target okay now and let me take drag target now this drag target has also many properties which i will discuss one by one the first one is builder okay now this builder takes context accepted data rejected data okay and here let me return a widget return container and in the container i will specify the value as 100 let the height be 100 and let the color be colors dot let it be orange okay let me put a semicolon here now this builder property builds the widget inside the drag target and it is called every time when the draggable is hovered or dropped into the drag target okay now this drag target has more properties let me show you here it has one more property which is called as on will accept okay and it takes the data now this data is actually the data which is passed from draggable okay and here i will return true okay 
Now, what is the functionality of this on will accept? It decides whether to accept or reject the draggable. This means the widget which is coming from the draggable, whether to accept it or to reject it, that is decided by on will accept. Now, since here I have written true, this means it will be the, the draggable will be accepted by the drag target. If it is false, this means the draggable will not be accepted by the drag target. Okay. Now, here it has one more property which is called as on accept and it also takes the draggable data and here we need to write some code. Now, here what I will do inside the build let me declare a boolean variable bool let it be condition equals to false right and here in the on except here I will write con sorry here I will write condition equals to true ok. Now, when this on except will be called if the draggable is dropped and on will accept returns true then this on except will be called and whenever this on except will be called at that time the value of that condition variable will be true ok and here in this builder let me write here return condition return condition if it is if it is true this container will be displayed else else here I will display the container with the color as black sorry black ok now let me save this now here you can see initially the value of condition is false that's why inside this builder the value of condition is false that's why this container is being displayed having the color as black okay now whenever this draggable is dropped inside this drag target and since on will accept returns true then obviously this on accept will be called what this on accept will do this will change the value of condition to true and whenever the condition will be true obviously this container will be disturbed because I told you that this builder will be called every time whenever the uh, draggable is hovered or dropped into the drag target now whenever I am dragging this draggable onto into this drag target and on will accept returns true then obviously on accept will be called the value of the condition will be true and since it is true this container should be displayed having the color as orange let me show you if I drag it here then you can see the color has been changed to orange this is how the draggable and drag target works I hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching